guys, Tyler here, um, doing this video in response to Urban Arms' video about his tactical man purse. This is uh, this is my tactical man purse. <clears throat> it's the 511 Rush Tactical Messenger Bag, uh, and it's pretty nice. I dig it. <clears throat> so, obviously, start just to start on the outside here. Got an adjustable shoulder strap padded on the inside. It's got some grippy stuff right there. Uh, and this slides, so you move it around pretty easy. It also has this other strap. This is a, a strap that goes around your body. Uh, so that if you are actually riding a bike or if you have to jog or something, you can wrap this around your body and tighten it down. And it keeps the bag from bouncing around as much. Uh, and this bag, actually, these panels back here are so that it can attach to another... Uh, bag system that they have, but <clears throat> I don't have that one, just this one. And then this is your <clears throat> tactical area here, so you can put a, a handgun in there and then velcro it and zip it shut. And if you want to get to it, you can unzip it. And then there's a break in the velcro in the middle, so you can slide your hand in and get the gun and pull it out. <clears throat> uh, on the front here, you got some molly webbing and uh, some velcro so you can put a morale patch if you want to uh, <clears throat> bam <clears throat> morale patch I don't have one on there because this this bag looks tactical enough already without uh, without the help of uh, obviously tactical morale patch And then it's also got the, these two zipper pockets here. I keep things like spare house keys, ibuprofen, um, a bandana, and a little cheapo steel knife with a flint starter. <coughs> with a flint striker, I mean. Not like. It also has uh, two expandable <coughs> um, water bottle pouches on each end. Generally, I keep a water bottle, a bottle full of water in one, and then uh, I generally keep my Surefire down in the other one. Uh, <clears throat> but obviously, now I have my Surefire in my pocket today. And you flip it open. Uh, the first thing you get when you flip it open is this panel here. You got a pin pocket. I got a pin and a marker in there, and then I just kind of adapted this little area here to hold another pocket knife. This was my old EDC knife, straight clip hanger. I've had it for a really long time, and it's cheap, and it's got this uh, clip on it to keep you from losing it. So uh, I figured it's perfect for there. And then I keep a spare mag in here, uh, and then I got another pouch here. There's nothing in that one right now. Uh, pocket there and a pocket there. Those don't have anything in them. I got a big zipper pocket here. I've got uh, an extra box of Federal HSTs. I know I carry a lot of ammo. <laughs> uh, then in this pocket I usually keep some brochures and business cards and there's another Sharpie. Uh, also a lot of times I keep a notebook in there but I took it out the other day to do something and it's still sitting in my car. Uh, then I got a bag of of random assorted goodies, batteries, um, some cold medicine, a lighter, band-aids. Uh, I've got a radio in there. I've got some more. That's interesting. I don't know why those are loose in there. Uh, these are my old gold dots. I guess I can take those out now. I'm not sure what these random full metal jackets are doing here though. That's weird. Hmm. Uh, and then there's, on the inside here, on the next pocket, I keep my uh, Wiley X case. I'm not sure why I keep that in there, but there it is. Uh, some brass, 30-30 brass. Uh, suntan lotion, bug spray, duct tape, everyday essentials. Uh, then you got this, you got a pocket here. Oh, there's also two... Uh, Zippered mesh pockets right there. You can put whatever you want in. Uh, then you got two pockets here, and then this is the big, this big Velcro pocket. There's a notepad I stole from a hotel, I guess. Uh, this is where your laptop usually goes. So when I carry my laptop, I put it in here, and then the charger 
in here and then like you know the mouse mouse pad whatever in there uh, so there you go it's got a ton of pockets um, obviously mine's pretty fat because I've got a lot of stuff in it so there you go you can adjust you can adjust these like so if I have obviously all this stuff that's in here now, I mean that these straps let way out, but you, if you put less in it, you can tighten them way down so it's slimmer. You got Molly on the ends. It's definitely not low pro. It looks tactical. It looks like a tactical bag, uh, but I like it. You know, it serves me well. My friends used to make fun of me for carrying it, and then uh, like one day, one of my friends had uh, we had snow. It was, when I still lived in Huntington, we had a real snowy day last winter, and one of my friends. Uh, slid her car into a pole and uh, broke her mirror off and her bumper came loose and I dug, dug deep into the tactical man purse and pulled out my roll of duct tape and went out and duct taped her mirror back on and uh, and duct taped her bumper back in place and I said you know it's going to look like you got redneck straight redneck but hey I mean it'll hold your bumper and your mirror in place and she looked at me honestly oh, looked me dead in the face and said why do you carry all this stuff Tyler I just looked at her for a minute and she was like, oh, I guess it's in case something like this happens, right? And I was like, yes, sir, that would be why. I'm going to move this. It's kind of jamming up my chi of my bag here. My feng shui of my bag. I also generally keep my uh, uh, kathy and my uh, shimaga also usually is in here, but I had it out the other day because I was... Uh, squirrel and it was cold so I got it out to I use it like a scarf I use a schmog for what it's really meant for not just for uh, for looking cool although it does look pretty cool looks high speed high speed death machine so there you go guys that's the 511 uh, tactical high speed or uh, 511 tactical rush messenger bag uh, it's pretty nice I like it so there you go. Have a good night, guys, and remember that this is America, and it's your freedom.